Hi, Alex here from Repeller.com and welcome to this new episode of ASD App Store Domination and today we are going to talk about Bundle Identifier Best Practices. So let's get to work. Okay, when you created your Xcode project, you most probably uh, added your bundle identifier as, well, it was added by Xcode. And here is what I mean. When you added your title, then you uh, added your company ID and it was created like so, comp.rebeloper.com. Uh, ASD magic and that is the way you should create your bundle identifiers with this reverse so-called reverse domain name like com dot company name dot uh, product name of course this uh, all goes for our in-app purchases I have talked about this uh, if you want to add an in-app purchase, you just add a dot and the name of the in-app purchase. Well, go ahead and take a look at that video. In this one, we are going to take a look at uh, of the bundle identifier only. And of course, you can uh, select automatically manage signing here and you can select your team. That is some kind of a link of our bundle identifier to uh, iTunes Connect and the Developer Center. Now, sometimes uh, this bundle identifier, this app ID isn't uh, registered inside the developer portal. And for that, you just simply go, well, automatically, because you can, of course, uh, create it inside your developer portal, but it is uh, not advised. So you need to go to capabilities and just uh, well, it will uh, in a purchases or any other capability will be disabled. So you just simply enable it and that is it. You just maybe uh, select, uh, deselect automatically manage signing. You just enable automatically managing signing. You select your team here and that will be it. Your bundle identifier will be registered inside the developer portal. And most probably this is 99% uh, of the use cases that you need to be aware of. Make sure that your bundle identifier is unique, so <laughs> don't ever use my because uh, uh, the developer portal will reject. You cannot have uh, others bundle identifier. This is the key, uh, the identifier of your app. And of course, this is my identifier of my app this is some sort of a unique name of your app of that a unique identifier so let's call it that okay that is all you need to know about bundle identifiers if you want to know more about the xcode projects layout and how to build a real sustainable app business go ahead and check out the tribe and of course contact us if you are an indie send us a message and we will give you a hefty discount okay go to rebeloper.com slash the tribe and take a look at it at what it has to offer and maybe if you are eligible go ahead and ask for a huge discount uh, by contacting us okay that's it for today I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and from now on you are using your bundle identifiers the correct way. And as usual, I will see you in the next one. Good stuff! Now, if you want to see more of this video and want to boost your app business, go ahead and take a look at my 30 days challenge app store domination. Go ahead and click the link down below and I will see you inside ASD app store domination. Let's get to work!